Welcome back to another DaVinci tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you step by step how you can have the best possible settings to export your footage in 4K and HD. Make sure to stick until the end so you don't miss any important steps. So let's get started. Okay, now I am in DaVinci Resolve and before you start any of your projects, you want to go to the general settings which is right here on the bottom right corner. And in master settings, you want to see your timeline resolution. Make sure it's on the resolution you are planning to export this video on. In my case, I'm leaving it on 4K. I'm saving it and I'm going to the delivery tab, which is the little rocket right here at the end. And now I'm in the delivery tab, aka the rendering tab, going to the render settings. And if you want to build the best possible settings to render, you want to select the custom settings. And of course, I'm not going to go in details here. You can name your file, pick a location and move on to the important stuff. In most cases, you would want to select the single clip, which is rendering your entire timeline as single clip. Or in some cases, if you want to upload multiple TikTok videos or some shorts, you can select individual clips. And that way, Resolve will export you every single piece of the timeline individually. Moving to the format, on default it should be on mp4 or quicktime, I'm not sure, I'm always exporting on mp4, but to get the absolute best quality you need to select quicktime. And a very important thing I want to mention here is although the quicktime is the best possible quality that you can get, for a 5 minute video in quicktime you will get an approximately between 10 and 15 gigabytes file and your rendering and uploading time will be a lot bigger. Then on codec you want to leave it on h.264. Also, it's a good thing to leave the network optimization on. Then go into the resolution. You want to switch it to 4K or HD. Depends what you want. In my case, first I'm gonna show you what is on 4K. And that's why first I'm selecting 3840 to 2160. And then down here on quality, by default, it should be set it on automatic. Which is not bad, but you can improve it by a lot by going to restrict. You would need to change the bitrate. And that is because when you render your project, Everything will look good, but when you upload it to YouTube, for example, it will compress your video by a lot and you will lose some bits. So every time I'm recording something on 4K, I'm changing the bitrate, restricting it to 100K. And that is different if you're exporting in HD, 1920 to 1080, but I will explain that just in a second. And after you restrict your bitrate to 100,000, down on encoding profile, I think it should be set it off on automatic and you want to switch it to high and then go down on the advanced settings and on the pixel aspect ratio make sure it is selected square so now let's get back and say that you want to export on hd which is 1920 to 1080 select that on the resolution and as i said the bitrate should be different you still want to restrict it but not to 100,000. basically for hd resolution you want to restrict it to 30,000 bit rates also, I want to explain one more time, if your format is QuickTime, you will have a huge file with a lot of gigabytes and the rendering process will take a long time. And a good alternative is to change the format on MP4. And now if you want to save your custom settings that you have just made, click on these three dots right here and select save as new preset. And then it will ask you for a name, you can type the settings that you wish. In my case, these settings that I have here is the HD settings with 3000 bitrate and a resolution of 1920 to 1080 and right now I have it as a preset on the top left side. After that you can change the resolution to 4K, correct the restricted bit rates to 100,000, select the three dots again and create a new preset. This time I will name it 4K settings and every time I exporting something I always have it on the left top side and I can switch between 4K and HD settings. And remember that it's not crucial to change the format from QuickTime to MP4 if you want to save some time on the rendering and also from the size of your files. And I recommend you also watching this video right here. I'm showcasing 5 amazing DaVinci Resolve effects and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna like them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.